We live in a world full of lies, and deceit comes from many sources. There are lying spirits who lead astray. The Bible, therefore, teaches us and shows us how to be free through the Word of God. 1 John 1, 8 If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. There are those who willingly allow their carnal mind to deceive them. Here, John tells us of a person who literally is being deceived by their own mind. I am not the only person who has experienced this. But through my years, I have seen that people are so quick to notice, analyze, and pick up on other people's sins. But they turn a blind eye to their own sins. This isn't everyone, but there are so many people who fall under this category. They are willing to deceive themselves. The human mind is fascinating. The carnal mind has a strange way of noticing everyone else's sin but its own. You and I must be free from putting others down while considering ourselves superior. You and I must be free from spreading lies and rumors. You and I must be free from spilling the blood of the innocent. You and I must be free from plotting evil in your heart towards another. You and I must be free from gloating over doing what's plainly wrong. You and I must be free from spouting lies in false testimony. You and I must be free from stirring up strife between friends. These are entirely despicable to God. The Bible, therefore, teaches us and shows us how to be free through the Word of God. Proverbs 8.13 The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the froward mouth do I hate. Romans 13.11-14 and now consider this. You know well the times you are living in. It is time for you to wake up and see what is right before your eyes. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. The darkness of night is dissolving as dawn's light draws near. So walk out on your old dark life and put on the armor of light. May we all act as good and respectable people, living today the same way as we will in the day of His coming. Do not fall into patterns of dark living, wild partying, drunkenness, sexual depravity, decadent, gratification, quarreling, and jealousy. Instead, wrap yourselves in the Lord Jesus, God's anointed, and do not fuel your sinful imagination by indulging your self-seeking desire for the pleasures of the flesh. Proverbs 26, 24 through 26. One who hates may camouflage it beneath pleasant words, but deep inside him treachery still rages. Don't believe him when he speaks kindly, because his heart is completely ruled by evil. And though he covers his hatred with cleverness, his wicked ways will be publicly exposed. According to 1 Timothy 4. But even so, the Spirit very clearly tells us that in the last times, some will abandon the true faith because of their devotion to spirits sent to deceive and sabotage, and mistakenly they will end up following the doctrine of demons. They will be carried away through the hypocrisy of liars whose consciences have been branded with a red-hot iron, saying, Don't marry, don't eat such and such foods. But God created all these to be received 
with gratitude by people who hold fast to the faith and really comprehend the truth. There are evildoers and impostors looking for dupes and perhaps most insidious, we have ourselves to deal with. Self-deception is common in our fallen world. This is the reason why we need freedom from these spirits. We as humans all think that we are going to live until we are 80 or 90, but that is not true. There are 56 million people each and every year who step from this world and into eternity. And that number is composed of young people and old people. Within that number of 56 million deaths annually, there are sick people and healthy people. Tomorrow is not guaranteed for anyone. Today is the day to get your life right. Today is the day to love your neighbor. Every element of self-deception is that I can sin now and ask God forgiveness later. Let me enjoy this sin and tonight I will repent. My friend, it doesn't work like that. Every sin matters. It matters if you sin or don't sin. It matters. Each time you sin, something happens. A stronghold begins to form, and it gets easier to commit that same sin over and over again. Don't deceive yourself into thinking you can just jump in and out of sin. This is why you see people decades later trapped in a sin they thought they could do one time. We need to depart from sin. 2 Timothy 3, 13-16 But the evil men and sorcerers will progress from bad to worse, deceived and deceiving, as they lead people further from the truth. Yet you must continue to advance in strength with the truth wrapped around your heart, being assured by God that He's the one who has truly taught you all these things. Self-deception is a real thing. How many times have you in your own life said, you will never do something again, and fast forward an hour later or a week later, or a year later, you did that same thing again. You need to know this self-deception is a real thing that people need to deal with. I have seen self-deception in people's life. Another perfect example of this is people always think they have time. They always think they have time to sin. And then, when they are older, they will get their life right with God. But I always wonder, who told you that you will get older? Who told you that God won't call you into eternity 